Britain has no objection to providing Kiev with long-range missile systems to ensure that Russia cannot go unpunished if it continues to target Ukraine's energy infrastructure, British Defense Secretary Ben Wallace said. Or, I regularly review the weapon systems that we can supply, the British Defense Minister told Parliament after being asked by former Prime Minister Boris Johnson whether Britain would supply weapons. More modern for Ukraine to carry out UAV attacks deep into Russian territory or not. Announcing Britain still had long-range weapons in its arsenal that had not yet been supplied to Ukraine. Mr. Wallace warned if Russia continued its attacks, I'm open to thinking about the idea of what we're going to do next. Dot. Last week, in a phone call with President Volodymyr Zelensky, British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak assured Kiev that London would continue to provide military support, including providing weapons and training to 10,000 Ukrainian soldiers and affirmed that he would stick with Ukraine for as long as possible. British arms shipments to Ukraine are second only to the US. In addition to the press, London began supplying weapons, training and equipping the Ukrainian army long before Russia launched a special military operation at the end of February 2022. The British Organization on the Dangers of Such Shipments and pointed out that such a move risks an escalation of tensions. A senior British general has announced that the Royal Marines are engaged in secret operations at a time when the Russian-Ukrainian armed conflict has been going on for several months. General Robert McGowan wrote on the official journal of the British Marines that this force carried out high-risk operations in Ukraine in April 2022. The Times, UK, on December 13 quoted General McGowan's article as saying, that members of Task Group 45 of the British Marines left Ukraine in January 2022 after evacuating the British Embassy in Kiev to Poland, but that 300 soldiers of this task force were later transferred to Poland. Sent back to Ukraine in April to bring the British delegation back to Kiev before they carried out other secret operations. Before General McGowan made the above admission, Western analysts and media denied it. Remove Russian claims about NATO troops operating in Ukraine during hostilities. General McGowan, now serves as Deputy Chief of the General Staff of Defense The operations took place, in a highly sensitive environment with a high degree of political and military risk. This is the first time Britain has admitted its troops have carried out the operations, said the British Ministry of Defense. Meanwhile, Russian President Putin described the Ukraine conflict as a conflict between Russia and the entire Western military machine. 